pants. This is a story of a boy called Chung and his embarrassing day. It all happened earlier this year when a secret admirer gave him a gift on Valentine's Day. He had never received anything on Valentine's Day before and always watched his friends as they opened cards and scoffed chocolates greedily. This year was different, however. He received a small red parcel with a mysterious handwritten note attached. Inside, the card just said, Wear them with love. Chum was very excited as he opened the parcel. He opened it carefully so that it did not rip the paper too much and peered inside the box. Inside he could see another note and some material. He pulled out the second note and opened it. You will always be my hero. He folded the note and then pulled out the material. His eyes opened in amazement as he unfolded a pair of underpants. They were pink with hearts on the front and a picture of Superman on the back. He looked around to see if anyone was laughing. Ha ha, very funny guys, he yelled, but he didn't see anyone around. He pulled out his bike from the rack and rode home. When he arrived, he went into his bedroom and hid the underpants in the bottom of his underwear drawer. The rest of the day went along as usual. Nothing out of the ordinary happened, and so within a few days, he'd forgotten all about his mysterious gift. The next few days were wet and miserable, and it seemed each time he went out he got soaked to the skin from rain. On Monday he went to his English class in the evening and got wet while riding his bike. He arrived to the class a few minutes late and dripping wet. He walked into the classroom and his funny teacher asked him if it was raining. Yeah, what do you think? He replied in a cold, sarcastic voice. His teacher gave a handsome smile and answered, Well, at least I don't have to go home. I'm already here, his teacher said while chuckling and giggling. The next day he got up early and rode to school. The sky was becoming darker and he hoped that he would not get that he would get to school before it started to rain again. It was not his lucky day. Half a kilometer from the school his bike started to wobble and he had to stop. His tire was flat, so he had to push his bike the rest of the way. He arrived at the school tired and unbelievably soaked to the skin again. The sun came out and it was a beautiful day after that until it was time to go home. At the weekend he went out with two of his close friends and they wandered around the local park and tried to climb a tree. Out of my way, yelled Chum as he climbed to the highest branch. Then he looked down. Um, can someone help me? I cannot get down again. He whimpered in a scared voice. His friends just laughed and shouted. No way. You got up there, you get down again, and laughed as they ran down the road. He could still hear their laughter way into the distance as he felt the first raindrop hit his cheek. He sighed as he started to climb down again. On Sunday he played football with his friends at the local field and in the afternoon he played basketball in the rain. Monday was surprisingly dry as he rode to school and in the afternoon it was also dry and he felt pleased as he arrived home on time. He took a shower and threw his dirty clothes down the stairs to be washed. Then he mooched into his bedroom and looked through his clothes. The rain had made a bigger impact on his clothes than usual. He sneered his nose as he looked through what was left. Ooh, don't like that. That one is too small. I had forgotten I'd even used to wear that, he muttered as he looked through his wardrobe. He pulled out an old pair of jeans and a t-shirt that was too short and then opened his underwear drawer. All that was left in his drawer were the heart-covered Spider-Man underpants. Chum shouted downstairs, Hey, do I have any clean underpants down there? 
He waited a few seconds and a reply came back. No, they're all still wet. His eyes narrowed as he pulled out the little heart-covered underpants and slowly pulled them onto his legs. At least no one will see them, he thought. He got dressed and then rode his bike to his English class. He always enjoyed his English lesson and even though his teacher was the best, he loved playing with his iPhone more. He looked at his watch and he was already 15 minutes late. He ran up the stairs to the lift and pressed 15. The elevator seemed to take forever to arrive and so he burst through the door like a big bear. Everyone jumped as he entered in such a rush, but then it went silent. Chum looked around, the room slowly, and everyone was looking at him, with their mouths wide open, like Paris Hilton trying to think of something intelligent to say. Then, to his horror, he felt the cool, air-conditioned air blowing onto his legs. He looked down and could see his trousers were around his ankles, Pointing and laughing lasted for what seemed hours as he pulled his trousers up again and sat down. But the worst was still to come. He sat on the chair and hid behind his clipboard as the laughter and gossip continued. Then a boy called Ming Kwan, who always sits next to him, whispered, You will always be my hero. And it was then that he realised that Ming Kwan had given him the Valentine's gift. The end. I hope you enjoyed the story. I'll see you next time.